to one and to all, I would like to extend my most grave wishes for a very happy Halloween. <laughs> Actually, ladies and gentlemen, this is the front door of our home, and uh, we are having a holiday bash. Halloween party. So why don't you join us this evening and uh, let's see if we can go haunting together. Come in, let's see uh, what this leads to here. Let's go. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. As we move into the apartment. We see some decorative ornaments. And in front of us we see a grandfather clock with some cobwebs and a happy Halloween sign. And two jack-o'-lanterns which are not lit at the moment. However, they will be lit pretty soon. And as we pan around, we see a pretty table decorated with all ha Halloween ornaments and uh, very Halloween-y, if you will. And let's see, as we walk into the living room, we of course see paintings with cobwebs and balloons and many interesting things here. I get the feeling that uh, there is a Halloween party taking place here this evening. And this is prior to the big event when everyone will be walking in. And it's nice and quiet here. Yes. We hear voices upstairs. My wife Janie and my daughter Candace engaging in conversation. Or are they differing on opinions about things? Whatever. But join us this evening or forever. Beware. What else do we see? Some tasty food. And as we pan towards the clock, we see a skeleton hanging on the closet door. Might someone pop up in the closet? Is this red or a cousin of reds? Well, it can't be a good joke. Right? And who is that, pray tell? That is a little vampire girl named Candarella. Yes. How are you doing? A happy Halloween to you, sweetheart. Did you have a good trick or treat today? Trick or treat. What did you do and what were you going as today? Oh, you mean you went as... You have two costumes? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Are you a princess like the princess in, in Sleeping Beauty? Uh -uh. What type of princess are you? I don't know. You don't special know? One. Well, we know that you're special. <laughs> and tell us, what does Halloween mean to you, my beautiful daughter Candace? <laughs> What? What does Halloween mean to you, darling? The candy, 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 candy. Just candy, right? Mm -hmm. And I bet you got a lot of that today. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to take a little break. Mm -hmm. And we ask our viewers mm -hmm. to please stay tuned. And don't touch that channel. <laughs> yes. And before that metronome can strike the second of 60, <laughs> we shall return as Harry.
Harry Houdini said when he died on Halloween. <laughs> we won't, darling. We may eat something else. <laughs> Please, let that alka to work. Give that alka a chance to work. Ah. Our guest of honor this evening. Ah. Ah. Is the Put monster the man. Put the glass down. As he's stealing the little girls. Ah. Mini glass. Let and scaring ah. the many maidens. Ah. Ah. Just make sure she's back by tomorrow to make breakfast, see that's all. I see it, <laughs> All right. Ah. This is Ben Munster. <laughs> and we see the monster's friend, Sonny Crockett, playing with his toy. Actually, man. Actually, <laughs> is it a police disguise? No less. Pray tell, what is happening right now? Really? <laughs> Martin Landau? Rocking it up. All right, all right. Let's give a hand, ladies and gentlemen, for that disguise. All right. All right, welcome. Sonny Crockett and Tubbs, his partner. Can you tell us what brought you from Miami to Brooklyn this evening, folks? A black Ferrari. <laughs> Did you make a wrong turn on the freeway, or what brought you back east here, back north? I'm Ricardo Tubbs. I'm undercover. <laughs> I don't see any cover. I don't see any cover. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Why do they always call themselves Jamaicans when they're from Harlem? Why is that? We don't have to be so formal. Welcome. It's nice to have Sonny Crockett and his partner Tubbs. Thank you very much. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Enjoy yourself this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Tubbs. <laughs> I mean, should I remove more makeup here? Come on, now. No, I'm, I'm really black, man. <laughs> I'm <his> black cousin, man. <laughs> and as we pan the room, we see the spider lady. How are you, dear? And what cobweb are you crawling up this evening? Why did you? Call, why do you call yourself a spider lady? Tell us, dear. Why is that? Come on now. Has the spider got your tongue? Well, it's nice to have you here this evening. We have a lot of honeys here, so you can call all around. What? what? Who said that? I'm back here. I'm dead. Darling, how do you feel today? You did a wonderful job preparing this party. What happened? Oh, jeez. And where was I at the time? Why didn't you call me? We did too. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about last night. Bye. Right. <laughs> no. Okay. And there is my daughter, darling. There is our daughter, Ken. This hi, Ken. And there is Lon in the background. And as we come into the kitchen, we pan around. And here is my sister-in-law, Jeanette. Welcome. Oh, the young girl seems to be lost here. Oh, an officer. Andy, stop the coffee. That's all right. Clean the coffee. Hey, Bob. Andy, we have our our uh, party under control here with our officer here this evening. Thank you, sir. Are we putting an advanced APB on the party? Nice to have you, sir. What is your shield number? 7623. All right. That's your partner's. That's her number. What's your number? 7623. All right. All right. Oh, I have it. 
<laughs> All right, uh, enjoy yourself tonight. Hey, lady, your uh, back is They are? Oh, boy. Your knees are showing. Enjoy. From Panama. <laughs> step on his shower curtain and see what happens. Hey, be careful. <laughs> that knife may get real before the night is over. No, we do everything. <laughs> We're for authority here, uh, Arthur. We're for uh, authenticity. Nice Where's this? What happened to the thing you had around? You're making. You're making. Is that a beer? Yeah. Sorry. It looks good when you put it over your head. Mm -hmm. No, wait. <laughs> there it is. That's the effect. All wait, right. I need moose to make my hair go. Yeah, that's what I feel like. They also want to be blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have more fun, Grace? Huh? Do they have more fun? Yes, you are. It's true. Not really. Not <laughs> especially when your mother-in-law beats you up in the shower. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, honey. All right, now let me get you. Let me get you. Thank you. All right. Jenny, give us a hand. Well, that's every day. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, me You're on, honey. <laughs>
There we what go. happened? Minor repairs on the, on minor the gun? Minor repairs, yeah. Okay. The gun's in the shop. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's it. Come on, let's get into character, Grace. Come on. Oh, uh, hey, I gotta get Come on, Sam, get into character here. Let's see the monster, let's see Crockett. Let's see a Martin Landau. Let's see a Mission Impossible. We have it, we have it. Uh, how about uh, how about those ghost stories? Later we'll hear that. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'd like to hear the Raven. Yes, Sam, please. Sam, we're going to recite the Raven for us. Edgar Allan Poe. Wait, sweetheart, Sam's going to recite the Raven. Wait, Sam's going to recite the Raven first. Forget about the tape. Yeah, come on. The man wants to recite the Raven. Okay, you got a candle there. Yes. What other problem, gentlemen? Wait, let me see if I get any light there. Let's try it, Sam, before we uh, get carried away here. It would be nice. Set all the lights out. Let's see what happens. No, I want to get it on tape, I mean. Let's see. Set the lights and we'll see. If I get anything in the viewfinder, if I get something, let's see what happens here, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, my cousin Sam is going to recite The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. And I get, of course, a little bit of something, so I guess we can go with it. Okay, and whenever you're ready, Sam, uh, may begin. Once, upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. To some visitor, I muttered, rapping at my chamber door. Merely this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember. It was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books the seas of sorrow. Sorrow for the lost Lenore. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger. Hesitating then no longer, Sir, said I, or Madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came tapping, and so faintly you came rapping, rapping at my chamber door that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I open wide the door! <laughs> Darkness there. And nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. The silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore, this I whispered. Lenore, only this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber, turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something in my window lattice. Let me see then what there it is in this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here, I flung the shutter. When? with many a flirt and flutter, in this stepped a stately raven from the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance, matey, not a minute stopped or steady, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sat. 
have nothing more. And then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. But with th though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim or ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. <laughs> Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore? <sighs> Much I marvel this ungainly fowl to hear it discourse so plainly though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast, upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such name as Nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on that placid bust, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing further than Feather then he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before, on the morrow he shall leave me as my hopes have flown before. And the bird said, Nevermore, startled by the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken. Doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store caught from some unhappy master whom a merciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope one melancholy burden bore of never, never more. But the bird, still beguiling my sad soul to smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushioned velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press off ah, nevermore. And then, he thought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God has lent thee. From these angels they have sent thee respite, respite and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe and forget thy lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Prophet, said I. Prophet still, bird or devil. <coughs> whether tempter sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore desolate, yet all undaunted on this desert isle enchanted, on this home with horror haunted. Tell me, tell me, I implore. Is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Nevermore, prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven. Nevermore, be that word a sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked, I'm sorry. Get thee back into the tempest in the night's Plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. And the raven, 
Never flitting. Still sitting. Still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul, which lies beneath that shadow floating on the floor, shall be lifted! Nevermore. No, very good. Very nice. Very good. Excellent. Let's give a nice round of applause. Very oh, nice. Very nice. Light. Light. <laughs> very nice, Sam. Excellent. Very nice. When did you first do that, Sam? A while ago? Uh, really? High school, school days? High school. Very nice. High school. Very, very nice. Great. And quite fitting for the occasion, I might yeah. add. Why not? You can't yeah. do it on Halloween. That's for sure. Very nice. <sighs> this is the first time I've heard of a tape, though. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, I have to show you the tape. Okay, That's right. Ready? Yes, darling. Well, shut that. Okay, the ghost stories? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's gather around. <laughs> we are now at the... At the... Brooklyn side of the Verrazano Bridge, where the runners will be, of course, making their way off the Verrazano Bridge and onto Fourth Avenue for the first part of the New York Marathon. It's a beautiful Sunday morning on November the 1st, and it should begin momentarily. We're approaching 10.30 mark, or thereabouts. It's welcome to Brooklyn to alert the marathoners that they're now in the borough of Brooklyn. They will, of course, touch every borough today, starting from Staten Island, and Brooklyn, to Queens, into Manhattan, into the Bronx, and back into Manhattan. The Metropolitan Life Limp will be. Oh, here comes the back. Here comes one of the, uh, I believe it could be one of the handicapped people. Yeah, the handicapped. <laughs> Cycle escort, which will lead the uh, troop of runners around the marathon. So the rest of the runners should be coming down momentarily. It's a gorgeous day for the 1987 New York Marathon. Stay tuned. Another uh, person in a wheelchair coming down off the bridge. Seems that they begin a. Uh, earlier than the rest of the runners. Understandably so. Police motorcade leading the runners throughout the marathon as they make their way off the Verrazano Bridge. So in a few moments we should uh, See the bulk of the runners coming off of the bridge. In fact, we can see them making their way right now. When they come by, let's hear Brooklyn cheer, all right? Come on, Brooklyn cheer! Fred LeBeau, director of the New York City Marathon. Making their way through the Arch of Balloons, the 1987 New York Marathon.
more than a couple of hours from now. Vincent, 
my beautiful handsome son sitting before me and my mother-in-law here visiting on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. We're not going to believe it, right Vin? Look at the snow. What do we have outside here, Vin? Let's see what we have outside. We have a winter wonderland, folks. It's just hard to believe. I mean, if this was December, if it was, of course, January, but we're talking about November the 11th here. I mean, it's, last week we had uh, 78 degrees, and now we're freezing with uh, two to four inches of snow. Yeah, Vin. What? Who's that? What do you think of the snow, Vin? You like the snow? Where are you? Where are you? Come up here, Vin. Where are you? Come on. We're waiting for my lovely wife, Janie, and my beautiful daughter, Candace, to arrive home. It seems that every time it snows, they're out someplace. So you can't, my wife is out someplace. And we see our first pedestrian walking in the snow. And uh, it's certainly a winter wonderland out there, folks. Let's see if we turn the corner here a little bit. Uh, what do we see, Vincent? We see traffic up there, but no sign of Mommy and Candace, Vin. Maybe soon. I bet you may want to play out there in the snow. In fact, I know you want to play out there in the snow, Vin. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. No. Right, Vin, stand up over here, Vin. Where are you? Stand up. Stand up. Where's my boy? Where is he? There he is. How you doing, Vin? Hi. Hi. You like the snow? You like the snow? Beautiful mother-in-law. Gladys Ducey. It's always I'm nice so to have terrible. you. Oh, no, you look, I'm terrible today. You look I very... didn't get dressed. <laughs> You're relaxing. Yeah, You're I'm enjoying relaxing. the day. That's the important thing, Mom. Yeah. You have Nothing a Nothing much I can do but relax. You have a very nice Christmas Christmassy robe on there. Yeah. You're enjoying your soap operas. Yeah. I am enjoying my soap operas. Mom, when did you see snow before? You ever see snow this no. Okay, we got to change it from the top, Mom. I'll give you a hand with that. Hold on one second. Huh? Mommy should be back. Grandma and grandson looking at the snow. And it's a beautiful sight. Just hard to believe that it's happening uh, November the 11th, folks. But it's pretty. Like that, Vincent? Nicole, like that? You. Don't you realize you could have ruined everything? Come on, Vin. It's very dangerous. No, just stay out of oh yes, the drop. Yeah, you got to be very careful because they say it's uh, very slippery, of course, and it could be quite hazardous here. Boy, these snowflakes were tremendous, weren't they, Mom? They are. Can you remember snow this early in the year or in fall, Mom? When's the last time you remember a snowfall like this in November? Early November. Uh, well, we had, uh, they had uh, shade, uh, in uh, Connecticut already this year. Yeah. How about when you were a youngster growing up? Oh, there's a lot. It just slipped. Oh, I hope Hello? Didn't get hurt. Is that right? Nicole. I told you. Hi. Fell down? Sure. She's walking out yeah, here. Yeah, uh, right everything's down. all wrapped up here. Yeah. yeah. Everything's fine. I met with Zach. That's right. It's so pretty when it comes uh, down, Mom, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, listen, Nicole, so somebody's dangerous. at the door. I've got to run. Woman well, just slipped over there. I'll be back soon, okay? Oh, you got to be extra Sign careful. On the, the driveway? Yeah. 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 You gotta be extra careful in weather like this. She says that in her at uh, the AT and T that the people will come out anyway. Well, I know it's uh -huh. hard. No matter how, well, no matter how long it snows, people will come. 
And she'd say, well, I don't know why they do. Honey, that's your play with this. Let me get you something else. Hi, Vin. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Where's your little man? I see you. Where's your little man? There's something wrong. Hey, how about that movie I was going to watch? Put this away because you can break the window. Dad seems inappropriate. Especially when you won't tell me who... Get up there, get up there, Vin. Get up there, yay! No, no, please follow us. Well, all the records were conveniently destroyed. That's the way Reginald works. Is it that important? You like the snow, Vin? What do you no. think, Vin? Like the snow? Let me get that for you. Let me see. Here we go. Look at this, Vin. Hey, hi. Hi. How you doing? Are you going to play by the window so you can see the snow? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Is that your truck? Is that your truck, Vin? I know how you feel. Oh boy, look at that. That's a dump truck. Yeah. They put dirt in there and they then they dump it. It's gonna be pretty rough. That's your little car. How nice. Looks like it's letting up a little bit, folks. And the first snowfall of 1980... Well, no. That's snow in 87, but let's say in the fall of 87. Right, Vin? And this winter, I know you're going to be out in there and running and playing. And Daddy will pull you and Candace and the sled. And we'll go sleigh riding down the big hills. And Diker Golf Course. And we'll teach you how to ice skate, all right, Vin? <laughs> so we're going to take a little break now, and we'll see you all a little bit later. Okay, Vin, bye. Bye. Bye, Vin. Bye. Bye. Wave bye-bye. Bye. At our dog, Pesci. Barking. Through the railings of the stairs, we see Pesci. See him, Vincent? Yeah, I can't. What was the water? See, Pesci? Um, it's more so it was outside that the water was... Oh, yeah! What? What, Vin? Where is he? Yeah! Where? Where's Pesci? To see the at the lake. Vincent, where is he? Water. And people were walking. Where's Pesci? We got a picture? Did you see him? I wonder if we could see the... Tell Daddy and Grandma where he is. Oh, that's something. Where? Vincent? Look at here. Look here. He away. Where's Pesci? Anybody else? Is he there? Why what? Let's see if we can find him. Because my phone was Okay. Dead. I only received phone calls. I couldn't call out. It's May 22nd, 1988. Vincent Francis Rognetta's second birthday, ladies and gentlemen. Give that man a spotlight. With our new swing set for Vincent's birthday, Candace's birthday. Hi, Vincent. Dada. Dad. Dad. Happy birthday. With his New York Yankee cap and his New York Yankee sweatshirt. And if we pan back, we'll see. The very nice, adorable swing set. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 1988. Ivan, you like your swings? Even the bottle fell. Be careful. And let's see. He's trying to get back on the um, little teeter totter or. Did it quite successfully. And let's pan around. Yeah, baby, take the keys, son. Go the other way. 
Hi, sweetheart. Happy birthday to our son. Uh, I must say you decorated very beautifully as usual. Hi, Mom. Ducey, how you doing? Okay. Nice Hi, to see baby. you here on this wonderful birthday celebration. Right. <laughs> That's how he gets dirty, yeah. That's okay, darling. Well, he goes up by himself now. There he goes. Go on, you got to climb on the other side. Yeah. Oh. Let's see on the slide, Vin. One, two, three. And down the slide. On the count of three. One, two, three, go! <laughs> All right, Vin. Very good. Go again. And here we go. Vin's climbing up the stairs. Let's see now. One, two, three, go. Hey. One more time, Vin. Go again. Let's see on the slide again. Yeah. And there's a plane overhead. 12 o'clock high, Vin, right? Come on, Daddy, go down the slide. Let's see. Come on, Vin. Here we go. One, two, three, yay! Where you going? Where you going, Dada? Grandma? No, get away, get away from there. No, we gotta take a commercial break because I gotta go after you. What do you got? Oh, potato chip. Take a bite, Vin. Mmm, good? Good boy. Where's your Yankee hat, Vin? Where's the hat? The hat? What's over there? What's there? We got a few surprises planned for you, Vin. Yeah. You'll see them later on, Vin. Gonna have a, not, a lot of nice friends come to your party. Yeah. As you can see, my son isn't. Two. Put your feet on top. Yeah. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Just look at this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, honey, you're going to break it. Show, show Mommy. Show Mommy how it go. Come on, Woo! Mommy. Show Mommy. Look, look, look. Hey. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. 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 All right, let him walk. He's cranky. He okay. don't want to be. Hey. Okay, darling. Come on out. We have a wonderful time. Beautiful time. Beautiful time. We have uh, delicious food, we have a lot of nice people, we have our family, our friends, uh, we're going to go swimming. Grandma's relaxing. And Mama. And the balloons swaying in the wind. Vincent, where's your hat? Where's your hat? Put your hat on, let me see. Let me see how you put it on, Vin. Where's your hat? Where? What? What? Wanna put your hat on? Where's your Yankee shirt? I can't Who's here? This. You come over here and kiss your brother too. Happy birthday. Kiss grandma and grandma.
Vincent! No, no, no. Who's there, Vin? Hi. And should that just arrive? Bringing a lot of goodies to one of her favorite nephews, Vincent Francis Rugnetta. And I think the weather's going to hold out, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to rain. Although it's been pretty cloudy this morning, I think the sun is going to come out and stay out. Right, Vin? And there's the birthday boy. And we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. So please stay tuned because there's more birthday coming up on station WRUG here in good old Brooklyn, USA, New York. With his little friend Matthew. Our neighbor directly in the house behind ours. How you doing, Matthew? You're going to join us today, aren't you? Take a picture of me standing on the glass. Be careful now. And Matthew has a special little pet. You want to tell us about your pet? First of all, what kind of pet is he, Matthew? Wow. What's the rabbit's name? Can you give us a little hint? Can you tell us, please? Bunny, his name? Bunny? Oh, Peter Rabbit. Peter? Bugs. Bugs. Oh, I love bugs. So does Vincent. Right, Vin? And how old is Bugs? Ten. Wow. How long have you had him? Me and old Hug Dolly. Since the summer. Oh, boy. He's a nice looking rabbit. You're going to come over and have some birthday cake with Vincent, aren't you, Matthew? Good, good. All right, we'll see you a little bit later, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, let me pop the balloon. Got my pants on me. <laughs> well, Vincent Matthew's going to come over later with his grandfather and his mommy, maybe. I don't know if my pop can come. Okay. All right. So mommy will be over, right? And my grandma, maybe. Good, good. Candy, what do you say, Ken? Nice to see you. I love you. Did you have a good time with the other grandma? Good. And what's today's special day? What's today's special day? Okay, now stop and kiss Vin. Wish him a happy birthday. Want to go on that swing with him? Can't go on that chair teeter totter sort of like. Okay, let Vincent get on one side. Can get on the other. And this is the first, ladies and gentlemen, the brother and sister on. Yay! Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. Be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? Now let go, Ken. Do it without. Just use your legs and go as high as you can. All right. Swing along with me. Da 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 
and there they are. Swinging away. Would you like to swing on a star? Yeah, That's right, it's not going to come out, Ken, because there are the um, pipes in the ground, babe. Don't worry. No, they're in pretty secure, babe. You're not going anyplace, doll. No, no. Nice and mellow and relaxing. There they go, folks. Easy. I think we want to get off. Be careful. Wait, let Candace stop it. That a boy. Nice and easy does it. I think your friends are coming, Cam. Want to go see your friends? Go on the slide, Vin. And here they go. One, two, three. Yay! Put your hands up, Ken. Go all the way down. Knife. Okay, we'll see you a little bit later. Wave goodbye. Three. Happy birthday, Vincent. I didn't hear you Okay, got it. Candace. Hold it. You got to do better than that. I want to hear you say nice and loud. Happy birthday, Vincent. Blow your horns now. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Candace is having a hard time getting her horn there. What's going on here? Blow the bubbles. Blow the bubbles. Make some pretty bubbles, children. Let's go, kids. Come on, Ken. Is Lawrence Welk here? Where's there? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You're not gonna give me a chance using that. Okay, maybe later, Matthew. Ken, blow some bubbles for the camera. Let's see, some nice, pretty ones. This way. Blow those bubbles, kids. Go, go. Vincent, where's the bubbles, Vin? Catch a bubble, Vin. You look very nice. Thank you. It's nice to have you here today. Thank you. Sorry the rest of the family couldn't be here. Other commitments. <laughs> Would you like to wish your nephew on his birthday today? Uh, very nice. Thank you. Enjoy yourself this afternoon. He's chasing the bubbles. Right? <laughs> And the kids are having their pizza. How is it, Taryn? Good? You like pizza? Get over here. Mom. Mom, get over here. And the kids are enjoying their pizza. Hi, Angela. How you doing? Nice to have you here today. Our cousin Angela from next door around the block. 
Well, that's her son Matthew swinging with Candace. How's your family? Okay. Everybody's doing very good. good. You look very nice, and Thank it's a pleasure you. to have you here today. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. And there is Tara and her brother enjoying their pizza. Are you a newsman? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this will be on the 11 o'clock news tonight, but you'll be in bed though, it's past your bedtime, right? You'll be able to see it. How's that pizza, Tony? Good? And as we come over, there's the birthday boy, Vin. Vincent, happy birthday. And as we pan over, Mom, how are you today, Mom Ducey? How are you? Very good. What would you like to wish? For the pizza. <laughs> How's that pizza, Mom? Good. Good. What would you like Delicious. to? What would you like to wish your grandson Vincent on his birthday today? I sure do. What would you like to wish him? What would you like to extend to him today? Birthday, which is very good today. Right. And they're so happy that it isn't raining. I think it's the first. I think it's the first nice day we've had in a week, right? Yeah. The guy was trying to give it to me. I said, if you started, I mean, if you made it fine, he said, I don't make it, but it's here. I said, no, no, just two is enough. I said, we don't have that many children. Grandpa, Vincent and Vincent. What do? We like got a glass of water for Vincent. Yeah, a little bit of a cold. Grandpa Vincent and grandson Vincent celebrating Vincent's second birthday. Happy birthday, Vincent. What's the score? I don't know, I need the score yet. See if you can find out the score. There's our friend Pat, Alfie's mom, and the new baby. And our son Alfie. Alfie, be careful. Be careful. Dada. Come on. Blow that horn, Vin. Go. Sounds like a traffic jam here, all these horns. 
Swiping. We have delicious watermelon. No. <laughs> Alfie, have a piece of watermelon. Come on. No, you don't want any? No, I won't go cut. Nice and nice and red, babe. Angela, good. Come on, baby. I'm getting ready to sing happy birthday to Vincent Francis Rugnetta. That's it. What about it? Let's throw, throw it in the garbage, Taryn. Let's, over here. Right over here. Everybody yell out happy birthday on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Vincent. Yay. I don't see. Still two nothing? I think Vin's going to get some free celebration with the birthdays. Good, Vin? All right. <laughs> Give Mama a kiss. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Vincent. He's starting with that cake. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. Vincent's birthday cake is mm, good. Number two. Vincent, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Move your arm, baby. Janie, move your left arm so we can't see the baby. Move your left arm. Birthday to you. Make a wish. Blow, blow, blow. My wife is distributing the birthday cake. <laughs> the delicious Carvel ice cream cake. Right, Tony? Is it good? All right. As we see the two boys enjoying their ice cream birthday cake for little Vincent. 
Come on, Vin, a lot of fun, Dad Dad. Vincent, go ahead. Let me try with him, baby. Come over here and take the move. Let me try. Show Candace. Go ahead, sweetheart. You get on first, Mommy. No, look at Candace. Look at Candace. Vincent, look how much fun. Look. Oh, boy. Yay. The horse's name is Shaky. They're coming back here. Pet him, Ken. Atta boy. Ken, how is it? Nice, huh? That's great, sweetheart. How's it feel, Ken? Pet him, Ken. I told her. That's great. You want to go now, baby? Yeah, starting to rain now. Wait a second. Listen. We're looking at him and then he's going to get over there. Yeah, it's going to have to be over there. Okay, then you're going to call me next. Let this baby have to go. Shake up there a little bit, Ken. A little excited, eh? Okay. Next, Vincent. Want we'll to try Vincent again? Come on, Dad, Dad. No, don't force him. Don't force him. <laughs> Next. Karen, come on. Go on the other side. He's next. Yeah, go on a pony, Vin. Dad, dad. You know, if you were on, maybe he'd go with one of you because he wouldn't be his friend. Anthony, call him. Probably. Vincent. Dad, dad. Vincent. Put you on the pony, Vin. We got this for you. Yay, on the pony. I know. All right. Well, ten minutes, kids. Two hours. I'm with them watching the horse. <laughs> Stop and eat. <laughs> Alfie! Come on, boy. Okay, next. Alfie? Alfie, you want to go? Okay, come on. Matthew is next. Alfie? I'm next to Alfie. Come on, Matthew, you go. Matthew, go. Alfie, come on. Oh, come on. You need two hands. Who's going to go first? Alfie, Alfie. 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 Watch yourself, kids. Get out of the way. Watch yourself. No, get out. Pull back. And here we have Shaky the Pony at Vincent's party. Matthew, stay here. Matthew, don't follow. Matthew, stay over here. Boy, you gonna be a, a horse rider? Boy, how you blow that bubble? Uh -huh. You watch it all the time. Look at his tail. Look at his tail. Uh -huh.
I patted his pants. Okay, leave it here. Honey, get out. 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 Honey, get out.
Like to your bones, it did. Yeah. Use a cup of coffee always hits the spot. Ah. Uh. Right, hon? When no I was young, I never liked it. Now I, I, I look. Even though I put a lot of milk, you look forward to it because it's warm. Oh, yeah. Kid, my mother took me. I was hysterical. She, the thought of being on those, uh, those uh, merry-go-round, and she'd get her. Yeah, see. I would have to take her off. Yeah. And tell the man. The man would go over to her. You know, he wouldn't take her off, but he'd go over and hold her. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so because uh, you know, once they started, they didn't yeah. want to stop. But she would scream. Oh, nice one. Then maybe get used to them a little. The sin if he can't enjoy his own, you know, his own presence for the party. It's sad. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think Tony really realized that uh, that he was good. Didn't yeah, he didn't know. He didn't realize because he likes him on the TV. Yeah. I and mean, then he probably thought, you know, well, he I got had a, he had uh, uh, with uh, Candace. But uh, the baby wasn't there. Oh. Oh. You see my camera? Oh, okay. What are you bringing this stuff out for? Because I bought it, but. Come on, I got a big bird to help So we might as well eat it. It's going to be bad. It's so bad on me. Oh, whoops, whoops. Here, you go on. Hey, Big Bird, did you eat it in there? Did you eat it? 
<laughs> oh, Matthew, I'm sick of your voice. Okay, there's a video, Chin. Right, right here. here. Oh, I can't to pick it up with two hands. It's heavy. It is. That's why I can't leave it on my shoulder. Then. It's too heavy. Does he want it? Do you, Big Bird? Do you want this? No. Oh, Janie's gonna do it. All right. That's all. That's all. Okay. Wait, it's heavy. Janie, that's yeah. so heavy for your shoulder. Okay. We'll get the little one next. It's been on. Mommy, what do I do? Wait, wait, so next. the horse comes back, it's your turn. Hi, Big Bird. We love you. <laughs> wait, I need to put the watch the tape. Oh, right? Hello. Hello. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. You got a booger. Come here. Uh -huh. I'm going to take it. No, it's just me. Look at Mommy. Look at Mommy. Big Bird loves you, honey. He loves you. <laughs> Oh, all right. Mommy, now the witch is coming. Yeah, Poor Big Bird upset. Say, Big Bird. I'm going to have a piece of cake. Hey! 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 Honey, what does that mean? It says light. The same. The baby. He could care less. Come around again. Okay. Well, I swear. Yeah, I'll be in my room. What? I'll be in my room. Yeah, if I see, I'm starting yeah, to see. Now. I'm starting to see yellow hair. Not now. Please, baby. Be good. No. I want to go. Okay, you're gonna go after the bird. Where? On the pony. Big bird. Come with. Come with. Come with. Mom, please, can we? Yay. I'm doing great. Okay. Hi, Big Bird. Big Bird, candy. Yeah, oh. Big Bird. No, Big Bird. Let us go. Mommy, come on. Why are you looking around? Put them, them in your pocket if you want them. Can you? Oh, Big Bird, you're great. Boy, Big Bird's so great. Come on, Big Bird. I think it's Big Bird's leaving. Bye, Big Bird. Let me go. Dan, you want to kiss Big Bird? Bye. Bye, Big Bird. Let me go. Bye, Big Bird. 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 Bye, <laughs> Big Bird. Bye, Big Bird. Bye. We love you. you go back to work. Bye. Bye. Say hello to Sesame Street. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> where's Big Bird, man? Ben, where's Big Bird? Where'd he go? Ben, where'd he go? Get out of the way. I'm taping your brother. Ben, where did Big Bird go? Hey, Ben, where'd he go? Ben, where'd Big Bird go? Huh? Um, How you doing, Matt? Oh, yeah, she was my math teacher. Regina Potter. Okay, Taryn, you're next.
Yes, very nice. She really did? Because I heard about it. I didn't know because it kept in hush hush. I don't know if she still is. Yeah. How do you feel, the love of my life? Everything was great. Had a wonderful time. Yeah. So we left over for the next week. So how was Big Bird? What did he say? I'm sorry, I had to leave for a few minutes. I had some business to attend to. I had to do something with the car. Oh, okay. It's got a, actually has a big bird. That's where the name came from. Yeah. Eh? Although I told D, I said little bird, it wouldn't be big bird. <laughs> what did she say? She says, oh yeah, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> what happened? I went to one Greek nightclub. They had a lineup of like six girls and six guys, right? Nude? And they gave them a baby bottle. They were nude. They took a drink. I don't know, he spiked the drink. By the end of the night, they had every stitch of clothing on. You're kidding? The dancers? Yeah, you should have seen them. And they looked as though they didn't know what they were doing. They looked like they were completely stoned. Jesus. Took this off, took that off, put the panties in the drinks. Oh God, my husband was like, I can't believe this. That's what I call spiking the drinks, right? Oh my God. Oh. It's really an experience, though, let me tell you. But when you're not used to it, you feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, right. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> wow. Right. There you are laying on the beach, you know, and you got your bathing suit on. And you, you got three girls here, you got five guys here, and they're putting the tanning lotion all over their breast, lifting them up, throwing them up <laughs> to the shoulder, and tanning themselves up. Oh, it's like so weird, you know? Hi, Taryn. Wow, what a bubble that is. Look at that bubble, Ken. Candy. Look at Taryn's bubble. Matthew, don't do that! No! No! Stop it. Vincent, no, no, Vincent. Not once. Don't get hit with this. <laughs> It's like that in the Bahamas too? No, not in the Bahamas. I don't think so, right?